The following fight is a PFL Euro regular season contest in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a striking specialist and stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He went in officially at 159.1 pounds. In 21 professional fights, has built a record of 16 wins, 4 losses and won no contest. Fighting out of Gran Canaria, Spain. Acoidan El Duque! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a striking specialist and stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He won it officially at 155.6 pounds and holds a record of 10 wins and a single loss. Fighting out of Riga, Latvia. Alex, pretty boy, Chico! The referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Rich Mitchell to oversee the action. Chijov in the green trunks, Koydon Duque in the gray. Akai, you ready? You ready? Let's go. And we just saw Lewis McGrillan, but good, good. Alex Chisov also has a lethal left hand. Look out for that one. Yeah, Chisov's very good at, at using that left hand for a variety of targets as well. Oh, that was a good left hook. Duque with the left hook and then the level change immediately after. And here he is. Oh, beautiful job by Chisov. Chisov just rolls right through. But Koydon Duque now switching to a double here. He's got He's his got hands locked. There's a serious Beautiful. problem on the floor is Duque. It's very top heavy. Tires his opponents out. Takes him into deep waters. This is really where we get to see Chizov's defensive ground game here. We saw him dominating his PFL debut, striking and grappling, but now he's on the back foot here, trying to use that butterfly hook, but a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt on top of him. He's going to know what's coming. He wants to move his hips towards the cage, but Duque is controlling his hips. Good job here from Chizov. Sit up and looking for the back from Duque. Wow. It's like he's reinventing jiu-jitsu in front of us right now. What's going on here? He, he sat up, he elevated his head using the cage and is able to get himself out of a little bit of trouble, go on the attack here. Duque now trying to settle into more of a side control position. This is the danger zone. This is where Duque wants to be. He wants to climb the back of Chizov and search for that neck. He's got his leg revved up. Good job from Chizov to get on top. Leg attack. Beautiful. Nice scramble. Duque staying on top of the scramble here. Chizov continuing to try and work himself back to his feet. Chizov is doing a good job, but Duque is not only a black belt, but physically very strong for this division as well. So it's a nightmare to get this man off of you on the ground. A little too hungry there, though, maybe, to jump on the back, but still got it. These guys are relatively dry as well, which is going to create some friction in these scrambles, make it easier for Duque to slow Chizov down. He's got both hooks in there. What's the back of the head, though? It's going to be di very difficult for, for Duke to, to finish with the rear naked near the fence, though, but he's working towards it. One arm under the neck here. Oh, oh, that's that's the right there. It's getting tighter and tighter. Chizov trying to address that top arm. See if he can turn himself back in. He may have it here. He's very deep. Oh, now it's oh. way under the neck. Two minutes left to work here. It's going to be deployed on Duque. It's going to be very difficult to finish because he wants to stretch himself out, but the fence is in his back. Switches, Switches the arms, yeah. yeah, goes through the left arm underneath the chin. Incredible defense from Chizov here so far. Great awareness, knowing where they're at in the cage, knowing that he can use that barrier. 
And as you mentioned, Sean, Duque did miss weight, which means that he might start to fade quicker in this fight if it goes into the second round. Chizov might have that in the back of his mind in this position with 90 seconds left. You always got to be careful when you have a, a body triangle to not squeeze out your legs. I did that one time, and then I had two rounds left. Those were two very long rounds. Yeah. Making your legs go really heavy makes everything else more difficult if your legs are tired. There's that figure four. Going back to the rear naked. Now he doesn't have the fence in his back. He's getting on top. This is tight again. Amazing. He's struggling to get it under the chin of Chizov, though. Against a lot of opponents, he just submitted them three times already. And every one of these failed attempts is a taxing on the back, the shoulder, the arm muscles of a Koydon Duque. If Chizov can survive the C round number two, we start to ask questions about the level of fitness on a guy who did not make weight. And if you're Chizov preparing for Duque, you must have done hours and hours of this, rounds of this in training camp, preparing for this rear naked choke attack, sub-defense the whole time. Definitely looks like that because his defense has been on point. Final few seconds of this first round. It's been all a Cordon Duque since he got on the back. Alex Chizhov in the green trunks, a Cordon Duque in the gray. There's the left hand from Chizhov. So fast with that. I think we need to expect a knee from Chizov. He's having he's got that little bounce that allows him to power a knee on a level change. He's showing it there. Yep. Duque is very patient though in all of his fights. When you watch him, he's he's really waiting for the right time. He's not taking any risks to, to run into a knee or whatever, waiting for the right time to take the to to get the takedown and then stay on top again, look for the submission. Nice right hand there, though. Look at the movement of Chizov's lead hand. This is why he lands his jab so well. He also has a really good left hook to the body, which we saw in his PFL debut, which I, I expect him to start working to this fighter. But uh, seems to have slowed down. Duque looks a little bit more heavy on his feet this time around. See if Chizov can keep that snap in his punches and make the most of it. Right now, Chizhov just content to throw one at a time, trying to hit these sniping shots. Big, nasty left kick to the left, I should say. Left leg of Chizhov. He goes high. He only takes a couple of calf kicks to destroy that leg. Take away all the movement from your opponent. As we see Duque throw that right hand to the body again, expect him to come back up with the left hook to the head. He's a very calculated striker, and now you see him Duque reach and miss. That's exactly what Chizo wants, because his left hand counter is beautiful. Duque not respecting the threat of those knees from Chizov, as you just saw him lower his head and kind of run forward. Chizov measured the distance and stayed out of range for the takedown attempt. So jab there. Chizov is definitely growing in this fight. Using a lot of feints as well, rear uppercut, rear knee. Showing his opponent a lot of different looks, trying to confuse him. Ooh. Nasty jab there. Good head movement there from Duque on the second. That was a good jab, caught him moving in on that one. Great movement again from Chizov. Beautiful right hand to the body again. <laughs> it looks so easy. Right. <laughs> I'm making, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for that left hook to the head. I think he's setting it up with that body shot. Oh, <laughs> Gorgeous straight right to the body. And that definitely dug deep to the internal organs of a Koydon Duque. Great sprawl and immediate with the left hand. Chizov now getting back to work, getting a little bit more busy. He wants to keep the pressure on. He doesn't want Duque to recover. Lancing blow off the cuff. Chizhov made the decision to just keep this going. You can see he's enjoying himself here, Duke, uh, uh, Chizhov. Playing. Oh, look at that jab, wow. Oh. He's throwing it by itself. I, I gotta believe that if he brought something right behind it, the second and third punch might land. 
Yeah, I have to agree with you. I think it's going to be the second or third punch that gets through to Duque. He certainly softened him up with that right hand to the body, but I think it's going to be the combination that gets the job done. But he's got to be careful that Duque doesn't level change when he steps in to commit, because he was tangled up for almost the whole round in the first. Another good jab. He's catching him coming in with that jab, and it turns it into a power punch. The left hook glanced off the top of the head of Floyd on Duque, who's now in desperation mode, trying to get this fight to the ground in the final minute of the round. Distance control for Chiza. Oh, it's a beautiful thing to see. Potentially, because that finish is right there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The, the timing from Duque, though, that's 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 what he does in all his fights. He waits for the right moment. But... 20 seconds to work. You've got to think Chizov's going to feel confident that he's won this round if he just gets to the end and starts the third even stronger. Yeah, there's not a, not enough control time for Duque to win this round. And, you know, again, he loses a point because he missed weight. So. She's over the head right now. Good point. <laughs> Round two, all Alex Chizhov until those final 30 seconds. Ready. Certainly the judges Ready. are going to score round two in the favor of Chizhov. So according on Duque, probably going to need a finish here if he wants to guarantee himself a win. Two great leg kicks. Duque to start the round. I think that's definitely something his, his corner told him. Chizo is standing on that front leg. And it's, it's available to be kicked. I feel like Chizo's starting to wait on that knee again. He tried the uppercut on that take there, which is why. Oh, there it is again. That's why Duque was able to finish the takedown, but. Chizov keeps bouncing, lowering his level. I expect that rear knee to come through at any moment. Beautiful oh, 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 with the wrestling here. Could he be on a guillotine here? Chizov was thinking about it, but then Duque was already so far in the takedown, and now he's on his back again. Going for an arm triangle here. Corner team with Duque telling him to calm down here and settle into this position. Dan Hardy been brushing up on his Spanish, obviously, because they are cornering him in Spanish. <laughs> I, I, I didn't notice that until afterwards, I'll be honest. Then what happens when Chizov, uh, Duque wins this round and they, they both win a round? So in this, in this circumstance, if we assume that they get to the, the scorecards here and Duque wins the first and last round, that would put him one point ahead on the scorecards, which means that the point deduction will bring this fight to a draw. And because Duque missed weight, the tiebreaker means he can't qualify to move forward. So it's Chizov when it's a draw. Chizov gotcha. when it's a draw. Very interesting. Good shoulder pressure here. This is a nightmare for Chizov to have Duque on top of him like this. Good the wrist, but Duque's got the back. Nice job. So good at tangling his opponents up and just dragging them back down to the mat. Anyhow, because he's confident in any of these positions. Trying to, I'm trying to scoot his hips out. He's, Duque getting back on top. Chizov is able to get to him. Oh, beautiful Duque job by Duque. Duque just bowls him back over. See, and these are the moments where people missing weight seems to have an advantage in these fights. You've got to think, you know, Duque was a couple of three pounds overweight. We've got to, we've got to acknowledge and balance that advantage when it comes to fight time. Referee calling for more action from the top position. Moving 
of side control here. It's interesting though, because the only thing Chizov needs to do is survive this round, then he wins the fight and he moves on into the semis. Correct. Although he's not going to want to finish, uh, he's not going to want to win the fight in that circumstance. One hundred percent. But I wonder if he's aware of that though. Right now, he's not going to get two checks in that circumstance either. So, Chizov with ninety seconds to try and make something ha happen. And, and look, Duque is in control here. Ten submissions in his pro victories. He's absolutely a threat on Chizhov's back. His fate is in his own hands if he can take it out of the judges' scorecard with a submission victory here. One minute to go. This is very frustrating for Chizhov. I also wonder if Duque is aware that he needs to finish the fight to continue in the bracket. All of the rules were beautiful explained to these again. fighters. Yeah, it's beautiful. All of the rules were explained to these fighters. So Duque may even feel pressure to get a finish here just to make sure he can progress to Paris. The other thing we have to consider that that second round may well have been scored a 10-8, given the fact that it was very one-sided. If it hadn't been for the takedown, I'd probably agree with you. Now look at this armbar attempt here. Duque works his way around, but is not able to fall back on it. He's so smooth on top, and every single time Chizo looks to be getting back to his feet, he put him right back on his back. He's going for a north-south choke, maybe. Won't have enough time to make it happen, so this fight will go to the judges' scorecards. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Earlier this week, Duque missed weight and came into this contest with a one-point deduction. Bearing that in mind, the judges scored this bout, 28-28, declaring it a unanimous draw. But advancing to the P.